You may be familiar with hard power techniques like the military to protect national security. Well, a Catholic member of Congress says there is another important tool that the U.S. can use. Last week, Lauren Ashburn talked with him about the role of soft power. Joining me now is Catholic Congressman Francis Rooney of Florida. Representative Rooney is also the vice chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and former U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See. Congressman, welcome back to our broadcast. Thanks for having me back on, Lauren. As someone with extensive diplomatic experience, define soft power for our audience. Well, soft power is, is using the power of influence and persuasion rather than coercion. It's obviously much better than hard power, military power, and, uh, and the other more abusive and coercive aspects of diplomacy when it can work. And it's an important uh, arrow to have in your quiver when you're trying to make diplomatic solutions. So you saw this work firsthand in your role as ambassador to the Holy See. How has the Vatican played a unique role in soft power efforts? Well, the, the Vatican is a quintessential soft, soft power source of diplomacy. You know, even going back to the way Pius VII outmaneuvered Napoleon, right down to the way John, Pope John Paul outmaneuvered the uh, uh, government of uh, Jaruzelski in Poland and in Nicaragua, uh, and is most recently seeing how Pope Francis could conduct a two-year clandestine diplomacy to organize the meetings about Cuba. We've witnessed in the present day cyber warfare and social media attempts by countries like Russia and China to undermine our democracy. In such an interconnected world, how can we, the U.S., use soft power to combat these attacks on our national security? Well, one is uh, what we used to call Radio Free Europe and Voice of America. Now it's the uh, Corporation for Public Media. Uh, you know, they're broadcasting Farsi into Iran and have an almost 20 percent market share. You know, they, they, you saw what happened in Eastern Europe with their broadcast. So when you combine that kind of soft power with the diplomatic soft power of a, of a trusted interlocutor like the Holy See, you've got an opportunity to convince people that your way is right. This October, Congress passed legislation, the BUILD Act, which created a new U.S. development agency. Why is development such an important weapon in this fight? Well, remember when the uh, first round of budget, the budget came out for the State Department that was very severe about the uh, foreign aid and Agency for International Development, General Mattis said, if you don't give me Agency for International Development, then you have to give me more weapons. Yeah. That's another aspect of soft power, which has proved to be very important, yeah. is democracy building, institution building, and, uh, and supporting uh, strong institutions that alleviate poverty and distress in many countries. The Archbishop of Dar es Salaam has asked the government of Tanzania to reject any foreign aid that is conditioned on accepting Western cultural norms regarding homosexuality. Cardinal Polycarp Pengo said, quote, it is better to die of hunger than to receive aid and be compelled to do things that are contrary to God's desire. And Pope Francis has been a frequent critic, critic of ideological colonization as well, and on the imposition of social and cultural worldviews on developing nations by wealthier countries. How do you guard against that in the use of soft power? Well, I think if you, you know, it's like St. Francis's old maxim, keep the main thing the main thing. If you focus on what you're trying to accomplish, you maybe will keep extraneous uh, political agendas out of the way and can do some real good instead of trying to make a political message. Congressman Francis Rooney, Republican from Florida, thank you so much for joining our broadcast. Thanks for having me on.